All right, uh, welcome to this press conference. Hope everyone's all right. Um, who are you? Hi, I'm the new press secretary. I'll be handling the questions. Aren't you a bit young for that? Do you want me to start with Stanley's wife? No, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on, please. It seems like your team is having a streak of very high highs and extremely low lows. Is this something you want to improve? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm as aware as anybody else that the form has been, we've had some incredible highs and incredible lows. Um, I am working day in, day out to try to improve the defensive side. So what, what keeps happening is that the defense is letting us down from time to time. And, you know, that's the reason why I brought players like Diogo back into the club. Um, and, and we have Ben Foster to, you know, help, help us out with that. There have been recent allegations that you've skipped training to go cycling with Ben Foster. Is this true? Yeah, no, yeah, that, that's true. Um, I, I think it's very important for the club to you know, be very connected with my players, whoever, whatever club I'm at, I, I want to be very connected with the players. And, you know, it felt like me and uh, me and Ben needed a serious chat after uh, after I brought in Diogo. So uh, we had a chat and I cancelled training so we could just go biking out in the countryside, just me and him and uh, yeah, sorted out things out and everyone's good. Even though the team has been showing good results lately, do you still think there's a possibility of a downfall? Yeah, I mean, listen here, little girl. Uh, I don't know what you so seem to have against me. Uh, the, no, I still believe that we are going to be going up. The, the goal for the season, minimum goal, is to go into the play, playoff spot. Um, that's an absolute minimum. If we don't reach that, I will tender my resignation immediately. Uh, other than that, on a personal note, I think that we should be going in the top two. Mo most certainly the top two and uh, be pushing for that automatic spot. So. No, yeah, I'm very well aware that things can switch very easily, but I'm working my hardest to make sure that the boys are well focused, no complacency allowed. We, uh, we keep pushing for the objective ahead. Thank you. It is reported that you've been harvesting unicorns for good luck. Wait, it's reported that I do what? How does everything get leaked? Yeah, what's the question? Do you think it'll help Ole Gunnar Solskjaer or is there no help for him? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I was at the Liverpool game this weekend and... Uh, there, I don't think there's anything that can possibly save Ole at this point. Um, conceding five in a game, terrible, terrible. Uh, I'd tender my resignation immediately. It's, dis it's disgraceful. And um, yeah, no, I don't think anything can help him at this point. All right, thanks for coming. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, it really is bad. It really is bad. They are running riots. That really pains me to say. Good morning, Egg Fam! Welcome back to another episode of RB London. How are you guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I said, how are you guys? As if this is a live stream, whatever. If you guys want to win a copy of FIFA 22, stay until the end of the video. Now, let's not waste time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement to make. Regarding the squad, we have made a transfer. And it's one that I talked about last episode that a lot of you guys knew was going to happen. Rian Brewster has been loaned out and we had a offer from Germany, from Union Berlin. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably someone's going to correct me in the comments. Just like every Irish person in the world is correcting me in the comments nowadays. Uh, Rian Brewster has been loaned out to Union Berlin and he will be out for two years so he is not returning until, what, 2025? He's not returning until 2025, but we can always, you know, call him back or whatever. If he does well, hopefully, you know, he has as successful as a loan spell as Marco Moya. Big shout out to Marco Moya, who's gone up eight in overall so far. Fantastic loan spell for him. Very happy about that. Shout out James Cannon as well. He's gone up seven while at Rochdale. That's good. But here we go. Rian Brewster. Here he is in his new colors at Union Berlin. So the decision was made to get him out. And Kareem Adiemi is going to stop playing on the, as a winger. But now he is going to become a, you know, backup striker to ba Bachuai, who has been injured quite a lot this season. So him and Adiemi uh, are going to be rot rotating up top. And I have signed another winger. 
instead of having one of our strikers play as a winger, I've signed Nico Williams, not to be confused with N-E-C-O. This one is N-I-C-O Williams. Uh, he's a Spanish winger. We've got him from Atletico Bilbao, I think it was. Signed him for four million pounds. He's on quite high wages as a rotational winger, but he looks exciting. He's got he's got a lot of pace. Uh, 87 agility, no, 80, 87 acceleration with 85 sprint speed, which is very good. And we're going to keep working on that, trying to get him as high as possible. I think this one is definitely a player for the future. He's exciting. He can play both wings. He's got flair. It's a little bit of, a uh, little bit of excitement up top. And I think uh, it's going to be very fun. And his, he's got Williams Jr. on the back of his shirt. It doesn't get, get much better than that, honestly. All right. So in today's episode, we have the transfer deadline day in a bit. So we could still do some transfers. I probably won't do any moves in the transfer market unless we get an offer for some player. Because right now, I'm very happy with the squad. I feel like we're very well covered. I would prefer another right back over Bradshaw, who has been very bad this year and is getting old. But I think I might let him do until the end of the season, unless anything does happen. You know, obviously, Nico Williams being, you know, we have Williams and Williams, and it's getting a bit confusing now. But just for, you know, making things easier, this Williams right here is going to be called Williams Jr. All right, just so we're all aware. Perfect. I'm very happy with the side. So in January, we've got a new keeper in. We've got Kiergaard on a permanent deal and signed a new striker with Brewster going out on a two-year loan. Happy days, you know, very happy. So in today's episode, in terms of gameplay-wise, we have a game against Luton. We're doing a little bit different this, uh, this time. We've got a game against Luton. We did have a game in the cup against uh, Ipswich that we did win 2-0. So we have the game against Luton. Then we're going to play an away game against Brighton, who are third right now, I think. Then you guys are not going to see these two games. I think we're just going to sim these two. And then we have a game against Bristol City. So very big games today. Uh, and we can keep the, the season moving a bit faster. Then in the next episode, it's now or never in the league, to be honest with you. They are one point behind us. Got to keep fighting for the second place. All right, massive game. Got to keep winning. Got to keep going. Set up the team. All right, this is the team to play Luton Town. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Ooh, it's a snowy game. I think we've only had one game in the snow before. This should be interesting. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for 3,500 subscribers. We keep moving. 50 career wins. I think that's if we win this game. Woo! Come on, then. Snowy day. It's January 2023. Time to end this bad streak. Come on. Tate on his last legs. It's going to be an interesting game. Mishi Bachuai. Third player in the league for most goals. All right. Game in the snow. This should be interesting. White ball in the snow, though. Okay. Tate. That's good. Down the wing. He goes into the box. Oh, I tried to lock on Mishi Bachuai, but it didn't. Comes to Kumi. Into Bachuai. And he's got one! Yes! It's our time to change the form. It's our time to get back on track. And Takumi Minamino with a great ball into Mishi Bachuai. We get this 1-0 up against Luton. It's not the best of finishes, but it gets there in the end. Well done, Mishi. Five minutes in. Early goal? Come on, then. Bachuai. Finds Minamino on the run. Couldn't re actually couldn't really find him. Uh-oh, here comes Nico Williams. He needs to backtrack. Don't allow the cross. Nice one, Trevo. That is beautiful defending. Simple ball. Gavin, he's given space. Rory, Gavin, what a shot. Falls, the keeper missed the ball. And it's in the back of the net. But it's, it's given offside. Oh, we need to see this one again. Oh, he is offside. That was so weird. I don't think I've ever seen any, anything like it where the keeper just missed the ball. We're going to go into the instant replay here and just check this out. All right, so here, here Gavin is. It's not a good shot. It's straight at the keeper. And the keeper does like this forward leaping animation, falls onto the ball, and just points it into Bachuay's way. Interesting. <laughs> don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Justa Silva does... Phenomenally. Watch away. Rory Gavin. Minamino is going to take the run. Rory Gavin. Can he find... But Yes, that's a good ball. There's Minamino. Oh, nutmeg. Beautiful skill. No. That nutmeg was dirty. Gavin. Minamino. 
Batshuayi is on a run. Can he get the pace? Come on, Batshuayi. Mishi Batshuayi. Second goal of the game. 26 minutes in. Yes. It's a brilliant ball. I, I, I flicked the stick forward just to make, make him run a little bit faster. And it really worked. Well done. It's a good finish as well. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. 15 goals in 20 matches. What a signing he has been. Oh, and they try to press us. And the, the back line is already open. Watch away again. Goes for the long dink for the hat trick. Oh, what a save. They try to press us from the get-go. And it opened them wide up. It's the same tactical defending that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer used against Liverpool. And... All right. Here goes Rory. It's onside. Off of the post. Mishi Batshuayi is really on fire right now. Oh, yes, take it down. Oh, there's no penalty, though. If we can keep this going, then we might see Williams Jr. come on. Oh, I take that back. We might be in trouble. We are. It's Kornick. He gets one back. The number seven for Luton. That is very unfortunate. Ball to the other side. Not sure the keeper could have done anything there. I'm not really I'm not blaming Diogo yet. Tate with a good skill. Goes past his man. Tries to get into the space. Wait, they passed the butch white. Oh, I was trying to open up the shot. I was just a little bit. I wasn't ready for that. All right, halftime. We are winning 2-1, though. I mean, I can't be anything other than happy with the first half performance. Batshuayi getting two goals. Lovely. If he could finish off a hat-trick, that would be great. Oh, they are in a great attack here. Kornick tries to dink Diogo. Not today, buddy. Not today. Ball into the space. Kornick again. He gets the cross. It's back post. Diogo, what a save. That is a very good save, I think. Back post and then a cross goal again. That is a very nice one. It's a good play to open up the defense. But Trevo gets it. Oh, ball over to the backside. It's very weird, but Diogo gets a good save. That was such a weird play. All right, 64 minutes gone. Uh, I've not been that happy with Tate's performance here. Emi Torres is going to come on. Andy Emi is going to come up top. And I'm going to hold off with the third sub. We might see Williams Jr. If we can score one more, then we might see a uh, Williams Jr. debut here. Rory Gavin tries the long shot. Back to out to Emi Torres. This is his first touch of the ball. Forces the keeper into a good save. Long. All right. Yes, Nico. Win this. Win this. Win this. Nice. Karim Adiemi going through the middle. Can he get the ball? He can. He's on to the end of it. Ah, tries to open up the play. Bernabe with a beautiful switch to Nico Williams. Can he take it with him? He can. He's going into the box. Tries to chip it. Oh, it's unlucky. That switch from Bernabe over to Nico Williams was beautiful. All right, 10 minutes to go. I'm going to set up a sub. We don't know when it's going to get uh, activated, but uh, Joel Stanley, we need some experience to try to see see this game out, get the three points. Okay, sub happens straight away. Because Rory Gavin off. Joel Stanley is coming on. Oh. Bernabe does well. Ball back into the space. Oko tries to clear it. Doesn't work. It's back into the space. They chip it. The overhead kick. Full start. Diogo Costa. What a save. What a tremendous save. Lovely stuff. What a great save from Diogo. Well done. Keeper might have to come and grab this ball from the corner. You will. I and mean, just hold on to it. Be calm. We are in no rush. We are winning this game. It's a good throw. Diogo has a good throw on him. Bernabe tries to go into the middle. That's a bad ball. Here comes Luton for one more attack. Bernabe, that is beautiful. Now hold it off. And it's game over. We're back to winning ways. Red Bull London 2. Luton Town 1. Yes. Unfortunate that Mishi couldn't get his uh, his hat-trick. It's very unfortunate. He remains the only player to ever score a hat-trick for us. 
All right, after that game, that leads us still one point ahead of Brighton. So as I said, we're going to do the deadline day right now. And then we have a game against Brighton. Then we're going to wait two games. Uh, or basically not show you guys two games. And then I'll show... Sorry. Show you guys the game against Bristol City. So uh, I'm sort of just going to pause the recording right now. We're heading into deadline day. I'm not planning on doing anything unless we get offers. So let's see what happens. Yeah, no, as much as I would love to create some sort of a story or drama or anything, nothing happened. Cool. That, that was boring. <laughs> All right. We took on Brighton early on in the season. And if I remember, we had a really good game. I think we won it. So here we go. One point separating the teams. If we win the game, we get a, a little bit more of a comfortable lead in the automatic promotion spot for the Premier League. We lose. We might have to go through uh, the playoffs. All right. The team for the for the game. Emi Torres has been in fantastic for Minamino Bashuai. I think it's the same team. I think I only made one change since the last game. Uh, Tete comes out and Torres comes in. Massive game against Brighton. Let's go. This is not going to be easy. Big game. Might be the biggest game of, you know, Watford were head, head and shoulders above us. Let's be honest. As of right now, Watford were head and shoulders above. We've changed the team a little bit. Gone with a new goalie. Did concede in his first game, though. He hasn't gotten a clean sheet yet. Rory Gavin. Rory Gavin has a long shot. It's not bad. Oh, it's a good ball into the space. And out of nowhere, Brighton and Albion are in front. That's a really, really good ball into the space. He goes in between Trevo and Nico Williams. It's well done. All right, Blanco in the seventh minute. Rory. He's given space. Rory, just go for it. Oh, it's a good ball into the space. Trevo closes it down. They're really good here. They've gotten another one. It's Dembele. 13 minutes in and we are being swept aside. Look at that play. Look at that play though. Like honestly, it's a really, really good finish. Costa should have saved it in my opinion, but come on. 14. All right. So we're now only conceding at a seven minute ratio. Jesus Christ. Still have a, uh, we have time and opportunities to try to win this back. Not with that type of passing. Oh, it's a ball into the space. It's again. We are conceding with a seven minute ratio. What is going on? It's Dembele again. They are absolutely incredible. What is Dembele doing at Brighton? How are they keeping on to this ball? How? Oh, it's a great ball again. He's offside that time. Time and time and time again. We are being broken down. We have to change something. All right, I'm changing the defensive shape. We are way too open. Okay. All right, we made an interception. Already immediately a little bit better. All right, Gavin does well. Keeping the ball. Josh to Silva. I kid you not, that was a shot. I am starting to get actually angry at this game right now. We're in trouble again into the space. It's Musa Dembele again. How can you even? Oh my Jesus Christ. Get it out of here. Uh, it's a ball into the space. Oh, it really is bad. It really is bad. They are running riots. It's so easy for them. All right. Halftime and we are losing 4-0. That that really pains me to say. I don't think the keeper is to blame here. I think the defensive shape in the beginning of the game was shocking. It's a little bit better, but we are still just way too open. It's way too open. I, I need more. I need more. From, I'm not changing the team. I'm giving them 15 minutes. I changed up the tactic a little bit. I still think this is my strongest side out there. This is a joke. This is a joke. This is, this is, this is, I, I don't know what to say, people. I, I just, what, they are not messing around. Good ball. I like to be optimistic, but at this point, it's damage, lim damage limit, limit, limit. Yep. Okay, cool. Come on, just get one. Emmy, are you drunk? Watch away. Come on, that's a good ball. 
This is ridiculous. If this is what it's like in the Prem, I don't stand a chance. I'm just making changes to make changes. All right, you know what? Nico Williams, get in. Because why not? That's my reasoning right now. Because why not? I want to disappear. I'm a fraud. I want to disappear. Jesus Christ, this is embarrassing. I don't think I've been beaten this hard in FIFA against the CPU ever in my life. Oh my days. And they saved that. They are playing like prime Barcelona. This is... What? This is unplayable. How, how am I supposed to defend against this? What, what the hell? I don't know what to say. We were destroyed. Oh, no fucking shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've simmed the two games. We did get two dubs because apparently simming games, I actually win. Um, that means after those simmed games, me and Brighton are now, or us and Brighton are now even on points, 10 points away from Watford. It's no longer a question of going for the title. It's a question of going for second place. We also have an announcement to make. Tate's future is not at RB London. We have sold Tate. As you can see by the playtime and contract, Tate was not happy at the club. I don't care about his rating. He's become an 84 overall player. He wasn't playing like an 84 overall player. He's got 25 games, six goals, six assists. He had, he had spells of exciting play. Tate will be joining Sporting at the beginning of uh, the next transfer window. He'll be leaving. I find it very sad because he was my main target in season one. He's been a good servant for the club. He wanted to leave. He, he wasn't happy with his contract here. He wasn't happy with the player uh, play time. And as you can see, he was happy with his personal performances, with, which I think the entire fan club will back me up in saying, how the fuck? Um, but yes, he's leaving to Sporting. Um, you know, I wish him all the best. He'll probably fit in better there, but we will be in the market for a winger. So I'm already going to start scouting, uh, scouting along. And I know you guys will be telling me all about some wingers that we could pick up. But basically, we're going to do first team quality. Uh, we want a pacey player on the wing. First team quality has to be pacey and no older than 25. See what happens. Other than that, we have a massive game now. The final game of the episode against Bristol City. I am devastated. I, I have to be honest. I am absolutely devastated. The last loss, it shook me up. But that means now that we're, what we have like 14 games to go. Not 14, sorry. 12. 12 games to go. And we're even on points. We need a big game here against bristol city I, I, i'm demanding three points i want three points so obviously tate won't be playing any longer kareem adiemi is going to come in as a winger for this game because we sort of just can't seem to fit anybody properly uh on the wings anymore not we're not starting phil jones so trevor chaloba and nathan dodds is the center back pairing that i did use for a lot of the sim games and it seemed to be working so we're going to continue with that nathan dodds seems to have calmed down the defense a lot and helped us out defensively but here we go big game against bristol last game of the episode and then what then i'm going to tell you all about how you can win a copy of fifa come on skip this let's go just want to get right into the game i want to beat these guys so bad we need a win and we need a proper win i want i want to fight back Good so far from Bristol. The old goal. Good save. I think I'm praying, actually, by accident, Tolkien is playing instead of Bernabe. Josh has a terrible ball. Mishi is given space. Go for it. Oh, it's a good ball into the space again. Dig how am I supposed to defend against this? Yes, we get it out somehow. Sending Bachuai on a run here. Rory Gavin tries to flick one over. Bachuai gets a good touch. Can't get it through though. I'm also changing the uh, attacking style. So we've changed defensive style to drop back to, you know, try to stop conceding this many 
We're going to go with slow buildup, and we're going possession. Keeping more of the ball. That's the target. Because 90% of what I do is chase them around. All right. Here's Rory. Finds Bashuai in the middle. Ah, the Emmy's through. Oh, I'm lucky. Nico Williams win this. Rory finds Minamino. Minamino keeps it in play. Gavin goes over to Karim Adiemi. He keeps it in play. He goes to John Tolkien. Tolkien goes down the wing. It's Karim Adiemi. He needs a good ball into the space. It's Rory Gavin. Oh, come on. Second ball here. De Silva wins it. Rory Gavin, second ball. Can't get it. It's halftime, nil-nil. Um, defensively, 10 times better. Absolutely 10 times better with this new tactic. I think that's the main issue. We start, we have to stop conceding as many. So far, Nathan Dodds and, and, and Trevo are holding it down very well. And there's new passive play that we're going for. I'm liking it. John Tolkien loses the ball in a bad position. But Karim Adiemi wins it back. Here's a counter-attacking opportunity. Ball into this, this passing play, man. De Silva. All the way over to Karima Diemi. Gets past his man. Tries to cross it. He goes back post. Keeper gets it, though. A little bit too close to the keeper, but it's good, though. It's good. Oh, it's outside the box. And it's Bristol City. Oh. The fuck is happening right now? How do you defend against that? That is incredible play. He's onside. We're in trouble. Tolkien does well. I'm changing the formation. We're trying something completely different. Going with a 4 1 2 1 2. Bachuaya and Diemi are going to both play up top. Gavin behind them. It's going to be Kamara da Silva. No, we're going to do it like that. Gavin goes center mid. Minamino goes cam. Yeah, we're doing it like that. Changing up the formation. Yeah, I need to do something. Good ball to Kareem. Come on, Kareem. I need you here. Ah, oh, he loses the ball. I tried to hold on to it as much as I could. Watch away. Tries to get it to Kareem. Doesn't work. Simple pass. All right, 10 minutes to go. Watch is coming off. I'm going for Musonda up top. Emi Torres is going to come and swap with Minamino. And Gavin's going to come. It, it's that. Th that's what I'm talking about. It's simple passes. It's infuriating. What? 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 I don't know what to say, people. The form has just completely died. We um, we lose against Bristol. Fuck, 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 fuck. We're in trouble. We're in such big trouble. It's 11 games remaining after this one, and we are fucked. Um, yeah, at least we're still in the FA Cup. I am devastated that this is atrocious. I can't say anything else than I'm going to do my absolute best to try to stop this. Whatever is going on, we need to fix it. And we need to fix it fast. We, uh, we're on 68 points. Luckily, oh, Brighton haven't even played yet. Wait, let's give them a couple of days forward. Okay, so Brighton drew. So it's only a point difference. But if you look at it, look, at, we have 35 games and 11 losses. It's just way too many losses. And uh, the goal difference is now down to 14. We've conceded 51 goals. Defense is a massive problem for us. We're like... We used to be scoring a lot, and now that is dying down. The season's not over. This is still possible, but it sure as hell isn't going to be easy. I'm sorry. I want to upload real, authentic episodes. So the episode today, yes, we only did win a single game. It's not the most exciting thing ever, but I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and all that. I'd appreciate it. See you guys in the next episode. In the next episode, we're going to have the cup game against uh, Pizza Bar. Just continue the cup run. You know, we have Brentford stuff like that well, so within the next two episodes the season will be over and we'll see what happens are we gonna go or are we gonna have a playoff special are we gonna have to you know result to the playoffs i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen but ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching the episode i do appreciate it now if you want to win a copy of fifa you're on a good note uh, i want to i want to thank you guys for the incredible support that you guys have shown me actually watching every video and stuff like that for the, those of you that actually watched till the end big dubs um for the next seven days aka like for or or not not next seven days i might miss a day of upload. the next seven episodes basically the next seven episodes 
So from th today's episode, which is 22, so it'll be 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 20. Wait, what? 2, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Until episode 28, you guys will be able to enter into a giveaway. And this one is going to sound a little bit stupid, but I want to reward those who are actually active. So once every episode, you guys are allowed to comment hashtag egg fam. That's all I want you to comment. Don't do it multiple times. You can only do it once per episode. If I see you do it twice, I'm going to write you off the list. You can't win it. Just do it once per episode so you can win a maximum of seven entries into the giveaway. Basically, so that's all you have to do. Comment hashtag egg fam. The more often you do it, the more chances you have. But if you cheat and do it twice on episode, you're cut. All right. Simple. That way we can reward the people that actually watch the videos. The more you watch the videos, the big, better chance you have of winning the game. If you already have the game, I'll just give you money or FIFA points or whatever the fuck you want. All right. So I hope you guys don't mind this. I'm going to try it. We'll see how this giveaway works. The other one was a little bit. Ugh. Maybe this one is. Ugh. But let's let's try it. So on episode 29, I'll announce the winner. But from episode 22 till 28, you guys can comment once every episode don't spam it please thank you for watching now it's time for me to go and i actually edit this episode i'm sorry for sucking at fifa <laughs> all right let's go let's just let's go